Building things can be very frustrating. You're dealing with a lot of variables. You have to manage people and deal with different personalities. You have to plan and execute properly. You have to deal with losses and failures, depression. People are going to also judge you for no reason at all. And there are many different things that are gonna come at you when you're building something. Whether that be a business, whether you're trying to self-improve, whether you're trying to be financially free, whether even you're trying to learn about wealth and financial literacy. Learning and building something, becoming and developing something is very hard and at times our emotions catch us. It's really what happened to me in my first three years. Emotions would catch me. I would go into tirades. I would yell at people. I would get angry. I would throw things. Even sometimes I would even be by myself and go into fits of just crying for no reason. The emotions can really affect you. It's like a roller coaster, especially when you're building a business. So you have to be the master of your emotions. And as a person who went through the emotional roller coaster of building a business, I want to give you some tips and I want to help you become the master of your emotions so you can better deal with your emotions when you're doing self-development, building your business, becoming financially free. So what you want to focus on is the mindset first. Be free from your emotions. Your emotions does not control you, okay? And they often happen abruptly. So you always have to be in tune with yourself, stay calm, and be free from your emotions. Seek peace and do not be quick to always have something to say. Even when you want to say something, think about it first. Constantly think about what you want to say and think about what you want to do before you do it. And this may bring hesitation sometimes, but if you do it correctly, you will be more in control of your emotions. Don't always hesitate. When you have to implement something, do it quickly. But if you feel that you're getting angry, if you feel that you're feeling sad, if you feel that there's just these emotions are jumping up on you, constantly quiet yourself. Seek peace within yourself by quieting yourself physically and, you know, mentally. So do not be quick to say anything. Do not be quick to do anything. And just realize the emotions that you're going through right now and be peaceful and free from them. And prepare for the worst. Preparation is key. Prepare for the worst, but expect the best or hope for the best. See, if you prepare for the worst, it does something tricky to your brain. It helps you in so many different ways because you can anticipate things that can go wrong and you can have protocols, I like to call it, protocols or projects for things that go wrong. You know, audibles. I like to call them protocols. When you're building a business, you might have a plan, but I can guarantee you that anything you're doing, that you have a plan, even if you're not building a business, let's just say you you are trying to develop streams of income for financial freedom, you're going to have a plan, but your plan is not going to go exactly how you want it to. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm thinking all the times that I will plan things out, I will write things down, I will, will put things down, and the plan will go left. <laughs> it will constantly go left you want it to go right but life will just push you to the left and it happens but what you have to do is anticipate things these things because when you anticipate these things it makes the blow a lot less harmful and you know a lot less painful and then you can also plan against these things and you already know what to do you won't be shocked. You won't be at all. You won't be in a position where you're just stuck and limbo and you don't know what to do and you know you're confused. You already know what's going on. You already anticipated this and you'll know how to position yourself and what to do. So always prepare for the worst. 
and just hope for the best. And this will keep your emotions in check because you will anticipate any, well not anything, but a lot of things that can go wrong. And what you also want to do is avoid judging people. You know, avoid judging people. You know, we rarely know what people go through. And what we see is the output. When we see people making decisions, we see the output. We don't know all the variables to the input. What I mean is when you see somebody making a decision, we judge the decision, but we don't know all of the circumstances and the things they've been through and all of the information that they had to go through and think about and experience just to make these decisions. So avoid judging people. Don't avoid judging people. Take your emotions out of things. And when you make decisions or even when you talk to people, avoid judging people and avoid focusing on other people's mistakes, other people's wrongdoings. Just as a whole, avoid judging people and focus on yourself because I'm pretty sure you don't have it all figured out. I'm pretty sure you have a lot of weaknesses. I'm pretty sure you're going through a lot of things right now that people can judge you for. People can talk to you, uh, talk to you, talk about, and people can, you know, criticize you for. So let's not focus on anyone else. This is a journey of self of self-mastery, of self-development, of self-empowerment. So let's focus on ourselves and let's take that energy that we put into judging people and turn it inward. So just avoid judging people and become more logical, you know. Become more logical. It's great to have emotions and to be in to daydream and be airy-fairy sometimes. You need that. You need imagination. But Become more logical. Stick to the facts. Stick to the data. Stick to things that are tangible. Stick to things that are realistic and tangible. Don't focus on anything else that has no basis in reality. Because once you get away from reality, that's when you start making decisions that are not logical and based on emotions and you know, you lose. You lose a lot by doing that. You lose a lot by following your heart, by following your passion, by following all of these, you know, emotions. Emotions come and go, you know. So focus on being more logical, being more tangible, and being more realistic, okay? And the last thing is seek understanding, okay? Seek understanding, Try to understand things more. Try to be more patient, okay? This goes with not judging people, but it's more of a separate thing because you need patience. You need to be aggressively patient when you're doing business, when you decide to become a leader, when you decide to become an entrepreneur, you need patience because things are n rarely going to work the way you want them to work. People are going to do things that you do not understand. And you have to really get that everyone's priorities is not your priorities. You might be moved by wanting to buy a Ferrari, but not everybody wants to own a Ferrari. You might be moved by wanting to have a Porsche, but not everybody wants to have a Porsche. That's not everyone's goal. People have different goals. People have different dreams. People have different aspirations. And... These goals, aspirations, dreams, values, beliefs all move people in different ways. So you have to understand them, especially when you're trying to build a team together and work within a team, especially when you're doing deals. You have to understand people and you're not going to like everyone. You're not going to like the people you do deals with. You're not going to like every, all of the people who, you know, you do business with. But it's not up to you to like them. It's up to you to understand them and understand whether you can align your motives and your goals with theirs. If your goal aligns with them, then yeah, that's when business happens. That's when deals are made. But try to be more understanding. Okay? So... This is the Gus the Entrepreneur. I hope this was any value to you. If it was, like, share, subscribe. Stay vigilant.